This is the guy everyone's going to ask the question to next, the Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels. Sarah Palin, no indication she's going to run. She's not organizing fundraisers. She's not lining up staff. She's not doing the homework she would have to do. This guy says he's running. He's going to be in New Hampshire on Wednesday, Donald Trump. Huckabee, this is a fast, let me stop here for a second. Huckabee, you have to think if you're Mike Huckabee, Gloria, and just that there's no sign he's going to run. All indications are he does not want to run. However, he's still up there. When you look at the polls, you have to be thinking he's saying, well, what do you think? That gives him a lot of freedom to wait a little longer and decide if he wants to get in, because he has enough of a following in Iowa that if he decides late, he could still have a shot to do well in the early stages. Yeah, and he's one of those people who's run before, so he knows what it's like. So he's going to wait a little bit to see how the field shapes up. But this, you know, this does give him an opening. And don't forget, he surprised everyone in 2008 by doing really well in the primary. He did out in Iowa. Now let's come down here. Governor Huntsman, he's right now, he's coming home for the ambassador to China. It'd be interested to see if he would leave the Obama administration to challenge President Obama. We'll watch him. Ron Paul, he is going to get in. Michelle Bachman, she is exploring a Tea Party favorite there. When Ron Paul gets in, at least an exploratory committee, you know, there's no evidence that he could be the Republican nominee, but there is every evidence in the world that he can raise money, that his wow. group is fervent, his group believes in him, and he gets a slice. And when you're in a crowded field, that slice matters. Right. He gets the base. He, he, he gets a very important part of the base of the party. I think his son helps him also oh. because his son is so aligned with the Tea Party, and they're going to be fighting over that. He might be fighting with Donald Trump for some of that. But I think the more um, Trumps and Ron Pauls and Bachmans you have in the race who really have strong appeal to the base but not so much to the moderates and independents actually help people like Palenti and like Romney right now because they show how diverse this field appears to be and it makes them more, more moderate. You know, and Republicans want to win so you do have to prove that you're electable. And so as we end. try to sort through the candidates we know the issue number one will be the economy. You have an incumbent president. He can't run on hope and change. He has to run on his record and his economic stewardship. Listen to the House Speaker John Boehner speaking to ABC's John Carl earlier today back out in Ohio. John Boehner laying out the case why he thinks, why he thinks the Republicans might be able to beat the incumbent president. The economy doesn't get better. I don't think you win. If people don't feel better about government and health care, I don't think you win. And if gas prices are 5 or $6, he certainly isn't going to win. Well, I, I don't want to say John Boehner's hoping gas prices go up to 5 or $6 <laughs> no, a gallon because he would not. say that's not the case, that that's not what he said. But is, is that the Republicans' best hope? I mean, obviously, if the unemployment rate stopped moving down now, they'd have a fair yeah, chance. People, people vote their pocketbooks. I mean, we all know that. We all cover politics. I think, though, you still have to say, compared to whom? And people are going to, you know, it, it takes a lot to fire a president. So they're going to have to fire him, but they're going to have to replace him with somebody else. And we just don't know who that field but is going to be. So, you know, we always talk about how Republicans are so much more disciplined than Democrats. Right now, they're not being very disciplined about talking about gas prices and jobs. They have to stop talking about birtherism and maybe even a little bit less about the long-term debt. Tell that to Donald Trump. Okay. Tell that to Donald right? Trump. <laughs> Come on New Hampshire on Wednesday. We'll go see Donald Trump in New Hampshire, see what he says there. Jessica Hill and Gloria Borgia, thanks.